Welcome to making your own tissue paper flowers. As you can see, I have these six sheets of tissue paper and they have scalloped edges, which makes it really easy. You can use just regular tissue paper, but with the scallop edges, you can see it's really easy to line them up, which is important in the tissue paper flower making. And the first step of what you're gonna do after you line them up is to fold them. So with the scalloped edges, you know exactly where to fold them. You're gonna fold one side, then you're gonna flip your tissue paper flower stack over, fold the other side. You're making it like a fan. And flip it over. Right on the scalloped edges. And the good thing about tissue paper flowers is it's not super exact. So it turns out great, even if you don't do it exactly how you're gonna show. Flip it back over. And if you want, you can use any colors. If you just have some white tissue paper at home that came with a gift, you could make a big white flower. The more sheets of tissue paper you use, the fluffier your flower will be. You want really colorful tissue paper like this, you probably will need to go to an art store to buy it. All right, so now you can see I made my fan and here I have a wire that's a stem wire and it's made exactly for these tissue paper flowers. You can buy just stem wire at a floral store or at an art store, but you could even use a, a spool of wire that your parents have at home or go to the hardware store and get some. You could even use a pipe cleaner or a twist tie that comes with a bag or with bread. Now I'm gonna twist, I, I made sure that I had it in the middle so that my flower would be even. And then I'm gonna twist this around so it holds it tight. Here's the twist. All right, the next step is to, in fact, I'm gonna bend this because it'll be easier, is you're going to start, take your fan and you're gonna pull up one layer at a time of the tissue paper. So I'm gonna start with this white lilac. And it's good if you pull up your one layer and you can pull down the big stack of tissue paper. Then you alternate and go to the next side and pick up that first sheet of lilac and do the same thing. You're gonna pull it up. the flower starting to form. So another layer of lilac. If you were making flowers for a theme, you could have a really special color. It's kind of fun to use a few different colors. And don't worry if sometimes the tissue paper will rip, but that's okay because petals on a flower aren't perfect. So when you're making the flower, the tissue paper flower, it'll still work even if they rip a little. Okay. So there's all the lilac. Now I'm gonna work on the magenta layer. to the other side and pull up my first magenta layer. Let me shape up. You have to watch a flower grow because it grows kind of like this. Second magenta layer. I 
This flower I started with six layers. Side of the seven because I think there's an extra right over there. It's hard. See right there, I, I tore it a bit, but you'll see it'll still look great. to pull the layers up and pull the, the bottom stack of tissue paper down. tissue paper flower. Other things that you can do is, this is one I made at home, and you can see I took my scissors and I shredded the ends of the scallops so that I can make it be much fluffier. I have a lot of layers of tissue paper. And also, think about what layer you put at the bottom. I made a green layer so it looked like the sepals of a flower. Thanks for joining us in our tissue paper making craft today. If you would like to get a kit to make your craft at home, contact the Coronado Recreation Department at 619-522-7342 and make a reservation to pick your kit up at the Spreckle Center between February 3rd and February 19th. Have a happy Valentine's Day.